for the Longhorns of Texas. They're going to have to work that post. Longhorns going to have some serious size advantage down low as they've had all season long. Look for them to really get some points in the paint and force you charge UV to try to stretch defensively. Both of the Longhorns big starting at 6-4. Taylor Jones starting center also 6-4. She's out. She's dealing with a hip. And then Abby Bootler, the 6-9 freshman, in a walking boot. Vaccaro's ball, Hackerod loses it, dives across the timeline to get it, give it to Dorsey, now we're over to O'Keefe. Vaccaro's in the white, moving right to left. Longhorns in the burnt orange, they move left to right. Ten on the shot clock. There's O'Keefe. Shot clock at five. O'Keefe. That's three. She's got two. She's got one lob for Sango. It doesn't end up getting to her. As five picks up the steal, here come the Longhorns. And Harmon gets fouled. One in Tanda in. Booker out for Texas. As the Longhorns get on the board, Kersley of the aforementioned when in Tanda, 6'2 guard out of Sioux Falls, a Washington transfer. Hackerock, give it a Sango in the lane. Misses there. And here comes Harmon down the court. Gonzalez into the lane. There's a pass underneath. Drawing a crowd and getting fouled. Hooker back in when in Tanda out. First free throw is good. Fai entered the game 67% from the line. See Vic Schaefer. That'll be a big boost for the Vaqueros. O'Keefe, shot clock already winding down again. Shot is up and it misses the rim. Gonzalez has it. Harmon. Send it in underneath. Second chance, no. Third chance, yes. Booker. Dorsey, a deep three, off the back iron, rebound by Sango, give it to O'Keefe, left wing three, no. Booker, puts up the jumper, no good, rebound, put back, good, and the foul, Maha. Shot is good, three-point play. Dorsey, 11 on the shot clock, 10. Dorsey throws it up all... First shot good. Second shot good for Dorsey. It'll be interesting to see when they bring Harmon back in. Booker left elbow leaner is good. Four, three. Let's it fly from the foul line off the mark. Brought in by Gonzalez. Oh, she's got a few rebounds today. Booker, foul line jumper is good. Dorsey throws it up in the lane and banks it in. Booker. There's one in Tanda. Muhammad. Stop, put it up. Short. That's the rebound. Second opportunity for Texas. That one's blocked by O'Keefe. Longhorns try to save it. It's out. Vaccaro's ball when we return. 4.32 to play. 13-4 lead over UTRGV. And the Vaccaro's get in front of the defense. And Tierra Trotter, fresh into the game, lays it in. UTRGV using some quick speed. Coming out of that timeout, long pass to Trotter. Caught the Longhorns, perhaps just a little bit lackadaisical coming back defensively. Ball underneath, layup is good for Gaston. McCory. Download a third event. That ball rolls out. Booker, Muhammad, draws contact. The grad student was just in this building a few days ago as Muhammad misses the first. 
ball commencement ceremony. She was at the morning one this past Saturday. Trotter travels. And in is Gonzalez who puts up the layup. The ball is tipped. Muhammad's got it straight to the basket. She lays it in. Defense leads to offense here. You would expect nothing else from a Vic Schaefer coached team. They're very physical, they're very defensively focused. Gonzalez open from the corner and she buries the triple. Dorsey for McCory from the corner. Got it! <laughs> Holly with the answer. Texas by 15, by 17 actually. The Sturdivant follows her own miss and puts it in. There's Booker. Underneath, that one rolls off the rim. Another opportunity for Gaston. Gonzalez misses. Out of bounds, Vaqueros ball. The inbound got tipped out of bounds by the Longhorns, so Vaqueros inbound again. Dorsey has one second, having trouble controlling the ball, throws it up over her shoulder and hits it off the rim. Who has been as successful as they come. Just all everything. He's a national champion when he was a head coach at Mississippi State. He's known for his defense. In fact, while on the staff of Gary Blair at Texas A&M, he earned a really cool nickname, the Secretary of Defense, because he's so strongly focused on defense. This team held UTR Javito 11 points in the first quarter. Hackerot for three off the back iron. Rebound by Gonzalez, her fifth of the day. And that is an offensive foul. Hackerot open at the top, misses the three. Booker races it down. Right elbow leaner, no. Rebound by Moore, puts it up in the left hand and in. Longhorns match the largest lead of the game at 17. Dorsey, she was looking for Sango, and Gaston just reached up in the air and batted it away. Look at Gaston just, and puts that right in the official. Oh. Wrong place, wrong time. As Gaston sends that the other way and says, no, you are not bringing that attack in here. He's up on the video board. A deep three rolls off the rim. Rebound pulled in by Moore. Moore launches a three, doesn't go. You remember last year, she was top 10 in the nation, longest three pointers, turnover. Booker to the hoop. No good, but a foul. Booker heads the line where she's a 70%, now a little better shooter. Second shot is good as well. Hackera. There's O'Keefe for three. Got it. They're working on a three-point shot. She was the five last year most of the time. And it's the Gonzalez and Aya Mitchell's new transfer. Because you're four and you're five. And injuries have derailed that plan. O'Keefe has had to play in the post once again. Where she's quite skilled, but when she can get out there, she can show you what she's been working on. Speaking of Longhorns. By 21, new largest lead. And the turnover, so Texas a chance for more. Harmon for three, got it. 
There's O'Keefe from the top. Hits her second three of the game. Vaquero swarming, trying to find an open lane. They can't get to it. That's the five seconds. Give it to O'Keefe. Thought about it. Has to come in. Her jumper a little too strong. I'm going to rebound by Harmon. See, now they're playing O'Keefe out on the wing. That's how you stretch a defense. The Shea Holly hits her third. O'Keefe sends it in. It's poked away. Harmon straight down the middle. Give it to Moore. Who draws contact? Pushes Hacker out to the four. She went three for four back on November the 14th against UT Arlington. So play gets a Texas school. Shea Holly finds her range. Dorsey. Puts up the jumper and it's good. Gonzalez for Muhammad. Harmon with the left hand gets it to go. Hey. One row, one row. Go, go. Dorsey with 14. Works her way in, draws contact. She was seven for eight in the Vaqueros last game, which is only notable because it snapped. She's at all four today, working on a new There's more. She's heading to the line. Moore already two for two from the line, make it three for three. Second shot, good. In charge would be 24 to 8 right now. Trotter misses the jumper and rebound by Harmon. Two minutes, two She's 14 for 20, 70%, now a little better. It's in both. Akarat turns it over. McCory gets it back. Sturt event. Puts it up and in. And for one and Tanda. The jumper. Doesn't go. Rebound try. It's good. Clock at 15. Misses the layup. The foul on the rebound. First shot good. That one doesn't go. Shot clock is off. For the basket, the Texas can be up over 30 going into the half. Nice passing, and there's the bucket. Phenomenal ball movement by the Longhorns there. Heron gets it in. The Vaqueros half court. He doesn't go. And at the end of half of a ball game, Texas, the fifth-ranked team in the land, has a 55-24 lead. Now underway in the second half. Texas, Shaley Gonzalez. Pass it to Deanna Gaston. And they're out there with Rory Harmon. O'Keefe throws it up with the right hand, doesn't go in. Rebound by Gonzalez. Head for Harmon. Stop, pop, got it. Harmon. Layup for Kyle Law, he is good. What kind of impact she has in the second half. I only saw her for a few minutes in the first half because of foul trouble. Well, two fouls start the second half, you're fine with that. Trotter gets the rebound there. And she does it in a number of ways. She's such a phenomenal dynamic scorer. She's also a great distributor. She gets her teammates involved. Harmon is such a great distributor. 
she's almost at 500 career assists. She could get there tonight. She needed seven coming in to reach that mark. Now she only needs four. Well, she needs three. She's three. at four. Gonzalez ahead of the defense lays it in. Kalahi. And it's stolen away by Harmon. Straight to the basket, she lays it in. And Harmon now with a game high tying nine points. Gonzalez and Holly also have nine for the Longhorns. Dorsey gets back. Dorsey hits the first. Second one's good as well. Gonzalez for Muhammad. There's Holly. From the top, it's Hartman putting in the three. Filling up the stat sheet. Akarat. Second shot, rolls off the rim. Harmon. There's more, can't get it to fall. The pass by Trotter is tipped and stolen by Harmon. And Gonzalez hits a three. 30 point, Texas advantage. Hackerod left elbow off the back iron, rebound Harmon. Quick layup by Holly, Paquero's ball. Akarat thought about a home run pass. Send it in short, looking for Dorsey. Stolen away by Harmon. The dish to Gonzalez, who misses the layup. Rebound. Picked up by Texas. Moving back to Harmon. She's one assist from 500. Six today, 499 in her career. Harmon, lob for Gaston. Six on the shot clock, five. Right side, Harmon. Three, two, sends it in to Gaston. Turnaround jumper is good. Not only does Gaston get the bucket, but congratulations to Rory Harmon on her 500th career assist. And a foul. She's out, Ash McCory back in now. Gaston from the foul line puts it in. Hagara. First shot good. Second shot doesn't go. Holly. Mall. There's Fi. It's banked in by Gaston. Adept at drawing the contact. Dorsey hits the first. Make it eight for eight. Jumper good for Booker. Texas by 47. Give it a mall. Missing the jumper. Rebound five, can't put it back. Hackerot picks it up, and here come the Vaqueros. Hackerot gets foul. Yeah, he's not happy. What he's saying here is Booker Mitchell says, but she had one leg out and was kind of pushing away. And Coach Schaefer says, I haven't had that called in my entire career. He is very unhappy with the fact that that was called a foul rather than just letting it be a turnover there off of Hackerot. Jumpers, good. O'Keefe, right wing three is good. Her third three of the... In fact, that makes up all nine of her points have come from beyond the arc. It's her first game of three three-pointers. Coach Schaefer just furious at the officials last few minutes. You can hear him yelling again. 
uh, she was going backwards and not initiating the contact. Free throws are good. Time winding down. There's the long three for Booker. It's no good. And at the end of three quarters, well, five years ago, when UTRGV hosted Texas, they drew what was then a program record, 2,655. Last year on Kids Day, UTRGV drew what was a new program record, 2,786. Today, UTRGV is playing in front of the largest crowd to ever witness a women's basketball game in the history of the Rio Grande Valley and the second largest crowd to ever witness a basketball game, period, in the Rio Grande Valley with 6,591 fans in attendance. And, Joan, I'm no statistician, but I did take a stats class in college, and I think that is a 236% increase over the previous high. Phenomenal. That sounds like a lot. It is to me. I haven't seen those kind of numbers in a long time. But wait, wait, I'm going to do you better. I'm going to do you better. Ready? Texas will inbound. Stage right of the basket. Give it a Booker. Ball comes to the right wing. Three is no good for Maul. Offensive opportunity, second opportunity, and turn it over. Hackerau picks it up. Here come the Vaqueros. Off for Dorsey in the corner, launches the three. Good. And Dorsey now with a game high 15. One of two players in double figures for the Vaqueros, the other being O'Keefe with 11. Five in double figures for the Longhorns. Uh, bucket is good from one in 10 to talk about spreading out your offense. Booker to the corner. Moore for three. Gets it to go. Four now. Hackerot bringing it down. You know what's impressive about that 65-91 number also, as if we haven't given enough context? Most of them are still here. Dorsey. And they know that, right? I mean, that the re, part of the reason they played that men's doubleheader last year, they didn't. 6,500 something, a similar crowd. Texas came down two years ago. And when they came down five years ago, they played the game on campus at the UTRGV Fieldhouse. That's why it was 2655. It couldn't fit anymore. Ashton McCory from the wing. It's short. That's a big one. Does it resume? Whack player. Remember, Whack opened end of November, beginning of December, right that Wednesday, Saturday. Vaqueros already played two whack games. Three ball from Graves is good. Graves, who just checked into the game, makes her presence known. And she gets a huge round of applause, and you know why? That was her season debut and her first shot of the year, and it went in. Good for her, the sophomore from Keller. Graves, another one! Oh, Sarah Graves! Big smile on her face. They got an assassin on the bench over there at Texas. Sarah Graves, two for two. She scored six points in under a minute. Diana Dorsey with a bucket of her own. That was, those were Graves' first two career baskets. She played in one game last year. Small with the ball on the right wing. Ball comes to the top. There's more. They're going to get a foul on Sango. She be replaced by Charlotte O'Keefe, who's carrying four fouls of her own. Moore misses the first. This crowd getting loud. They get three Buffalo Wings if she misses them both. 
Can you imagine if 6,591 fans all walked into a wing restaurant asking for five free wings? <laughs> More with 10 on the shot clock. And then Tanda. It's a foul. Second shot good as well. Of course, I guess it doesn't matter that Arizona, Arizona State, and Dorsey misses the three, are future Big 12 members because by the time they're in the Big 12, Texas will be in the SEC. The layup is good for five. Kai Lawi in the corner. I think she stepped out. She did. On the verge of being the eighth player. Ball. There's Graves. Back to Ball. Launches an uncontested three and swishes it in. Dorsey. It's Kai Lawi. There's Phillips. Hackerot for three. It's good. So the Texas Longhorns are going to move to 12 and oh, the fifth ranked team in the land flexing their muscles in the Rio Grande Valley, but in front of the largest crowd to ever watch a women's basketball game in Rio Grande Valley history, Texas wins 104 to 51. Coach Lord of UTRGV embraces Coach Schaefer. Thanks him for coming.